Well, new at six, here's one way to experience the solar eclipse from the front seat of this eclipse mobile. It is designed so that you can see the total eclipse while sitting inside the car. And today, WBZ's Mike Sullivan caught up with the man who created it. Just the sun and moon and you. Just People have their own tunes. Rick Yeams rocks out to the solar eclipse. It's on April 8th. If you can't tell by his music choice, take a gander at his car. Eclipse 24, that license plate uh, I've had for about four or five years. This is the Eclipse Mobile, a fitting ride for a NASA solar eclipse ambassador. That license plate is going to go into the solar eclipse New Hampshire time capsule. It will be opened on May 1st, 2079. We picked that date because that's the date of the next New Hampshire total solar eclipse. His ride is not just a means of transportation, it's an education course on four wheels. And this trunk panel shows what the sky will look like during totality. You can see Jupiter and Venus. Here is your eclipse sun. Inside the trunk are artifacts, an original copy of the state's solar eclipse bill, a poster that is nearly 100 years old. And this is from the 1932 sol total solar eclipse. To watch this year's, you will want solar eclipse glasses. During totality, you want to take off the glasses because you won't see anything. If However, if you are sitting in the eclipse mobile, you won't need glasses at all. So they've agreed to take this material that goes in the solar eclipse glasses and they're going to create a piece or a film that'll attach to my sunroof. So now if you wanted to use binoculars or take a picture of the eclipse sun, through the eclipse roof, you're fine to do that. Parts of your view may look like his hood. These marks are called Bailey's beads when the sun's rays hit the moon's peaks and valleys. The last thing you see just before it fully covers it is something called the diamond ring effect. That is the moment of totality, the moment his ride ends. In Concord, New Hampshire, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Wow, Rick is all in. I he appreciate is that. Super interesting. Yes, I think and it's all great. the things he's collected. Yeah. yeah, and he said a couple of interesting things that we need to run by Eric here, okay? First of all, I got my glasses in the mail today. Right. I and texted you... Eric. I said, I can't see a thing with these on. And he said, that's the point. That's generally the idea. Right. Okay. <laughs> Until the moment of totality. Well, well, you can't see anything except for the sun. Right. So when you put these on, everything lights out except for you look at the sun and you see just like kind of that flat disc. If you try them out now, like this yeah. weekend would be a good time to try them out. You might even see some of the sunspots okay. on the sun. But Eric, uh -huh. he said you can take them off while you're looking at it, but that's the exact moment of totality. Around here, you wouldn't be able to do that. Correct. Yeah, okay. we won't be okay. in totality, so there's never a safe time to look at okay. the sun okay. for any period of time. Some people have done that. You know, they look up for a couple seconds. You can actually get the shape of the eclipse burned into your retina if Ooh, you wow. do that. Okay. It's, it's serious Next. stuff. You don't want to do that. do that. It's a good party trick, but you don't want right. to do it. <laughs> yeah, no. Skip we that. want everyone to do this safely, for sure. The only time you can look up is during totality, if you are in that center of the path, and even then, you kind of want to glance and look down, glance, you don't want to look at it for too long. The sun, of course, being a very bright sky object can do a lot of damage.